All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Here in Big Bear, they have a, a scarecrow competition, and there are so many entries, so I drove everywhere throughout town to these certain addresses to check out these scarecrows and show you guys the competition. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know at the very end in the comment section which one you think is the best. I would really appreciate it to help give me the proper judgment of who to vote for because I got a ballot, all right? so. Enjoy it. This is really, really great. It took me hours and hours to do this, but it was worth it. So enjoy the video. Talk to you guys later. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Big Bear Weather and More. I just want to show you guys some new merch, some different colors, different designs. Check this out. and all merch at BigBearWeatherMore.com. What's up, you guys? We're going to have a little bit of fun with this video. It might be a little bit long. Let me get this hair out of here. But we're going to show you guys the Scarecrow competition up here. A bunch of people have entered. This is what it is. And, uh, yeah, I get to vote on what setup I think is the very best setup. And so, happy early Halloween. There are so many locations to stop at. This is going to take hours and hours and hours. But we'll, we will give props to the people who... So the business and personal name would be Ingrid Olson for this first spot. And it's called... The Scarecrow's name is the Pumpkinheads brand. So let's just check this out real quick. And then we'll go back towards their, their house here. So there's some houses and some businesses. All right. Where'd you go, T? Okay. Let's see. Wow, they have sure done an awful lot here with the uh, scarecrows and whatnot. Since they're playing music in the background there, I'm not going to be able to to walk up there, but we can zoom in. Unfortunately, we can't walk up there. You know what? You know what? Maybe we can get a little closer right here. But my gosh, what a fantastic job. They did a fantastic job here. Holy moly. Great job, if you guys can hear me. Great job. So yeah, this one is definitely one I'm... Our very first one. Our very first one, and it's freaking amazing. Guys, that's Terry. That's my boy. That's my boy. All right, so... Cool. Again, you guys, we got to get through these pretty quickly because there are so many. But yeah, on to the next one. You got seriously, there's like 30 of these guys. I have to drive all over through the town, over the woods to grandmother's house we go. All right, you next. guys, and now this is the second one in the scarecrow competition here. And this is Alpine European Auto Care is the business. Thank you guys for being involved. Give them a nice little shout out here. And the scarecrow's name is Alpine Owl. Look at there's Alpine Owl. This competition is awesome. Very cool, you guys. Very, very cool. What's up, Alpine? How you doing, bro? Good job. Good job. You're looking good, Alpine Owl. All right, ready to move on? Our third stop right here. This is resorttownrentals.com. And the scarecrow's name is Skelecrow. Ah, I get it now, because I was looking for a scarecrow. I didn't see a scarecrow, but that's Skelecrow. <laughs> Beware, don't get any closer. That's Skelecrow, and you know what? I don't know if this was supposed to be on the ground, so I'm just gonna be an upstanding citizen and put that there, but. All you boys and ghouls, be safe. <laughs> and I'm missing a leg. They call me, uh, I don't know what they call me. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's pretty dumb. 
like my voice was dumb not that that's pretty cool skelecro who would have thought on to the next We're location our next stop the business here is chirp nature center where oh dude that reminds me of jeepers creepers guy wow that is a really really cool scarecrow and let me give some props to the people so the scarecrow's name is morgan crow morrigan crow what's up buddy how you doing how you doing look down there i feel like i'm watching jeepers creepers this guy is terrifying then let's see uh this is if you guys want to read what this says just pause the screen right there but we're just going to go around to the back of this dude and uh back and the side you're right terry that's a really good one right here it is, huh? oh my god i thought that was a scarecrow <laughs> all right on to the next one folks good job right, sure guys this one i'm a little bit biased about because this is dennis and ron's creation and they're doing this to help support the big bear high school football players so this is called business and personal name laura mir the scarecrow's names are friday night lights which is awesome Wow, look at that, guys. Look at that. Dennis and Ron, you guys freaking rocked this thing, man. Again, I am a little bit biased. But, but oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. And they did the cheerleaders, a referee as well. Look at this, guys. Terry, how tall are you? 6'2". 6'2". Stand next to that guy just so you guys can see. So Terry's six foot two, and he's dwarfed by this guy here. That's amazing, that's amazing. Fantastic job, you guys. Woo. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm telling them about you and Ron and just how proud I am and a little biased, but even with my biases here, dude. That's all me right there, dude. Dude, you're amazing. Like, you're, you're, guys, that's the voice of the Dennis. The Dennis. Yeah, he's, uh, he keeps the nicest resort in this town functioning. This is the nicest resort up here by far. By far. We have the best videos out there. <laughs> what was that? We have the best videos out there. Keep doing this. You guys hear that? You guys hear that? I only paid him 100 bucks to say that, too. <laughs> Dennis, th thank you. Thank you for visiting. Dude, to help, to help my friends, it's my pleasure. You got it, bro. All right, here's the referee, or no, that's the coach. That is so cool. Can you believe all the work these guys did? This is beautiful. And then out of respect for these other people, I'm not gonna get them on camera, so I'm just gonna wait a second. On one, one more zoom across here. You know what? We don't have time. We're just gonna have to do this. Hey, hey, no more, no more, no more. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Do you like these scarecrows? Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, dude, what a cutie pie. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> so these are the cheerleaders, guys. These are the cheerleaders. Again, great job. Dennis, you're the man. It's fantastic, man. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're driving for, to go see all of them because you can vote on it, too. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're reading. Yeah, dude. So it's... it's, 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 it's if you go to the visitor center... 
There's like 30 different spots, bro. It's a little more than oh, I, than I an, an, anticipated, but you know. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. If you don't go, if, if you want to see it, check out my YouTube channel. It's called Big Bear Weather and More. Okay, Big Bear Weather and More. Yeah, please, right. man. I'd, I'd, I'd be honored. And when you ever drive up here in the wintertime and stuff, uh, everyone watches my, my channel because I drive the whole town during storms so you can see exactly what the roads look like and stuff like that. Oh, that's e amazing. E every storm for 10 years. Oh, that's awesome, Yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks, bro. Big Bear Weather, okay. Big Bear Weather and more. That's me right there. I got you, man. Dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let me Thank shake you. your hand, dude. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank What's you. your name? Nick. Josh. Josh. Nice very, to meet you. Very guys. nice to meet you. Take care. Have a good day. And what's the little dude's name? Uh, Vander. Vander. Say hi, Papa. Nice to see you. Oh, he's in his He's such a cutie pie, though. <laughs> what what a cutie pie. He, he's he's going to be fighting off the girls in no time. <laughs> that's, that's right, brother. Later, guys. Bye. All right, that was cool. That was cool. And we got another subscriber, so let's go. All right, you guys, we are now at the shirt shanty. And Harvest Huckleberry is, is then, sure. Sorry, guys. Harvest Huckleberry is the name of this guy right here. This is in the village on the very corner of Pine Knot and Village. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. They did a great job. Do you want to say hi, Monica? Guys, this is a good friend. Hi, everybody. We met her last Christmas time. Her name's Monica. Hi. Just an absolute sweetheart. She came up to me and was like, I watch your channel all the time. Yes, I do. And uh, tell them what your channel name is. Monica Usher Baby. Monica Usher Baby. Okay, and it's it looks like the Los Angeles or the Oakland Raiders or wherever the Raiders are now. That's what her logo looks like, so... All right, Monica. Thank you. Babe. Okay, that was interesting. All right, we're gonna go on to the next spot. So that was Church Shanty, and there's a few more spots right here in the beautiful village. So hang tight. Okay, I think it's right here, but yeah, that little parade that we just saw. Yeah, if, if any guy ever lays his hands on a woman, you know, then uh, he should get his butt whooped. Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. What if he lays his uh, opinion on her? Then he then too. <laughs> okay. Enough out. Enough out of her. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, abuse. <laughs> He's ignoring I, I, me. It actually touched my heart, guys. I, it brought tears to my eyes. They had red high heels on. That was so freaking cute. Walk a mile in her shoes. How cute. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's. Stuff like that, I can be way totally behind for sure. Like wearing the heels, you mean? <laughs> yes, like wearing the heels. <laughs> Obviously, we don't get political on on this channel, so I'm going to keep my my opinions to myself. But when it comes to hurting women, you are a coward and just the biggest loser <laughs> if you're going to hurt a woman like that. You know, people get in arguments. That's natural. I totally understand that. But do not ever ever lay your hands on a woman in that way because karma will come and get you and karma are usually really big men all right so this is the other place mountain gifts do you want to go inside and, and just ask them where where their uh, thing is I, I, i'm gonna pause this guys because we're at mountain gifts again the big store guys, Hang so on. they did a fall entry they didn't do a scarecrow but they did a fall entry at mountain gifts this is one of our nicer stores up here but yeah let's take a nice look at everything that they have done it does look nice it looks festive i love it 
And we could pretend like that is the scarecrow right there. Okay. All right, cool. You think we got it, babe? I do. I, I think it's so cute. Not a scarecrow, but it's a scarecrow. I definitely vote for you guys to shop here, but I can't vote for the scarecrow competition because there's no scarecrow here. Did you show them the big ape in there? Yes. Your lookalike? Yep, I did. All right, guys, we're going to the next uh, next spot. Okay, so on. here's Barry Bliss, and the name of is Falling for Frozen Yogurt. <laughs> so Barry Bliss is a frozen yogurt place, and we're just gonna out of respect for these people not shoot them. Scary. Scary. Look how big that bear is, though. Wow. Okay, cool. That is pretty scary. All right. All right, so falling for Barry Bliss. That bear would have scared the living daylights out of me if we were just passing him walking down the street. All right, so that was cool. Let's go to the next one. Hang on, guys. Yeah, sure, babe. All right, guys. Yeah, please. We are at Brown Bear Gift Shop, and this is called Cozy Bear Corner. I don't know if this is their setup here, but I'm going to record it anyway. And maybe we have to go. Okay, so yeah. It does look festive. So that's very, very. Oh, yep. Here it is. Cozy Club Corner. Very cool. Very cute. Very cute. This is where I got your bear stuffed, actually. Really, babe? Yeah. This Look is at how cute the dogs are. And they breathe. Oh, oh like my you, gosh. They have like this breathing thing. That, that is do. so cute. But they sell the skins to the teddy bears here, and then you can get them stuffed just like build a bear. That's so cool, babe. Yeah, when, when my dad died, you guys, a month ago, my wife brought me a, a stuffed animal that was born out of her kindness. <laughs> Yeah, it comes with a birth certificate. You can put a little heart of your selection, like courage or love. Or this yeah. was um, love, right? No, I put courage. Oh yeah, inside yeah. Yours. So he's got a blue heart. So cute, though. All right, guys. Well, this is Brown Bear. We're gonna go on to the next one. We're at Oliver's Emporium. It's a gift store for dog lovers. And here is their entry. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Babe, that is really adorable. Look at how adorable. I love it. That's the winner. Look at the scary dogs. Oh my gosh, look at them. Terrifying. So cute. Yeah, and I actually buy really cute dog treats for my dog here. So if you guys are, I mean, they're kind of pricey, so if it's more just for like a special treat day, but they've got such cute stuff in here for the dogs. That's awesome, babe. Yeah, he's like, hey, what's up? Like they're Hook it up, bro. <laughs> they're coming All right, baby. All right, you guys, we are at Sandy Sports Bar now for the next entry. And this one is called, let's see here, Oogie and Zero. Oogie. It's Boogie Boogie, man. <laughs> the Boogie Oogie. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a, a headless, oh, humongous wait, scarecrow. Like their, their ring. I wonder if that was the Oogie Boogie Man set. Wow. Let's, let's get a nice look over here. I've never even been into Sandy Sports Bar. But since I've lived up here, guys, for 10 years, I haven't had a drink of alcohol. Okay, very cool. I like the setup they did here. It's a really overweight scarecrow though I don't or actually I don't that's know the, if, that's the Iggy Boogie Man's inside I don't know if I'm allowed to it's say from, uh, overweight these days though oh really sorry guys this is a very healthy scarecrow very healthy I don't I don't want to say the wrong thing here oh my gosh look at how scary this looks though Look at these big old spiders. Imagine if that was real. That would be horrible. So in the movie, he looks like that, but when they, but at a certain point, he turns this color into a burlap sack, and then they cut him open, and all these bugs come out of it. Oh, that's that's why all the spiders are there, uh -huh. huh? Very cool. 
Well, all right, Sandys, you guys did a darn good job. And uh, what was the name again? Oogla, Oogie and Zero. All right, cool. All right, babe. On to the next one. Cindy Atencio. And her decoration is Jack and Jill. Wow. Did a, how you doing, sir? Is this the Jack and Jill setup? Okay. Oh, no way. Well, you know what? You guys did. This is one of the best jobs that we've seen so far. You, yeah, brother, I swear. I swear. Super. It was it was rough yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, cool, man. But yeah, you'll... Is it all the way in farm skin and stuff? Yeah, the wind blew it all around. Yeah, that's just yeah. such a bummer, but you, you can tell the effort that you guys put into this, man. This is great. Yeah, we did a little. I mean, the cats did most of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Oh, oh yeah, we got a shot. We got, like... Hey, hey. It's coming to, it's alive. <laughs> it's alive. This will be on my local YouTube channel called Big Bear Weather and More. Big Bear Weather and More, not yep. Ben Britsky's weather. No, Ben's a close cl close friend, but yep. it, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. I, I drive around and I record all our stuff. The whole entire town for 10 years now. Do you drive around when it's like snowing? And oh yeah, roads? oh yeah, yeah, in the worst conditions. In, 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 in that car with no chains, just snow tires. Oh, yeah, man. Ten years. I think I watched, uh, they might have put a bank in front of your driveway and you had to get over the bank to get out to the road. That was me, bro. Oh, <laughs> I said, screw the damage. We're doing this. And just gunned it and went right through it. And, yeah, I took the whole, most of the was bumper off. Cross yep, cross track. <laughs> Thing's a beast in the snow, man. I'm, yeah. You throw on snow tires, I, I you, you know... Even when we had that five feet of snow, when I got out, I, I had no problem in the freshest two, two, two to three feet snowy areas. It's the most amazing vehicle, bro. I talked to some guy, he had, he had a uh, dual motor Tesla. I'm like, does dual motor mean it's four wheel drive, all wheel drive? He's like, yeah. He's like, I used to have a Subaru and I had to put chains on that one. So this thing is way better. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, maybe it's the battery weight in it? That's probably it, yeah. The yeah, weight, but know, the weight helps. But uh, but I'll tell you, yes, big time it does. But I'll tell you right now, a good set of snow tires for because I switch them out every winter up here. Put my snow tires on. It's I, I I've never had chains that worked as good. And when you look at the snow tires, you're like, how are these little things? They just look like normal tires, but they they like North squeeze track. the ice. It's it's just un unreal. But what's your name? Michael. Michael. I'm Nick. Nick. Very nice to meet you. Nick. Very nice to meet you. Wife, wife Rachel. Why aren't you in the same car? Because she has to go back to work. And we wanted to do this together, so I met him at the village. We went walking around, and then we'll, yeah. we'll do two more, so I followed him. But now <laughs> we got to head to to the uh, next spot. Together. But so far, of the ten that we've done already, top two for sure. Oh man, you should come by at night when we have all the lights on. That's we've probably what I should have done is cool a nighttime video. But I'll see. You. All right, Nick. Pleasure nice to meet you, bro. You, bro. And thank you for being so darn cool, man. Hey, that's how we are. And, and, and thank you for enjoying life like this. What we do. <laughs> Only get one chance, man. You take care. Guys, again, really consider this because these guys work their butts off. All right, cool. On to the next one. Little greenhouse florist right next to 7 Eleven over here on Big Bear Boulevard. And this is Daisy Duke. <laughs> it looks like Daisy Duke. That is so cool. You want to hop out, babe, or no? She's in her car because she has to get back to work. Just like the last gentleman asked us. I don't us. want to go back to work. I want to keep looking at scarecrows. This is a really great one. I mean, these guys did a wonderful job. Just wonderful. There. Totally. And the Daisy Dukes, too. It's great. Yeah, I can yeah, I can see. They did an amazing job, right? Wow. What do you 
you think of this one, babe? It's really great, isn't it? I'm glad people are putting this much effort into it. It's wonderful. So adorable. So adorable. I, it's, I'm having a really hard time going back to work. <laughs> totally. I want to continue looking. Let's do one more. Okay. Gonna do one more together. <laughs> But I'm gonna finish off a whole bunch. I bet you she sticks around for a few more, guys. Oh, it's so hard to pull myself away from this. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Good job, Daisy Duke. This is Dubuque Construction, Spas and Plow. And this situation is called the Spa Couple. Clearly these people run a spa business. I'm hoping we can go onto their property. I'm, you know, they wouldn't have put their addresses up here. But yeah, that's the spa couple. Look at it, it's Jackie and Shadow. Hi, Jackie and Shadow. Oh, I can tell which one is Jackie female. The one who's, 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 who's yelling. Yeah, you're, you're warm. <laughs> which one is Jackie, babe? Look close. This one. She just looks cuter. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? Oh, she has boobs. That's hilarious. <laughs> good, good catch, babe. <laughs> That's great. That's hilarious. So yeah, guys, remember this name for your spa services. Thank, thank them for coming out to do this for everybody. My wife says she knows them and they're super fun people. So that's good to know. If we vote for you guys, do we get a free spa? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. But you know what? This is very big bear. These are awesome scarecrows. I love it. Well, cool. Totally, totally. All right, let's go. Where they got those heads from. Let's go to the next one, baby. All right, guys, we're going to the next Retreat and resort. We have a video in the playlist of this channel called Lodging is the lodging playlist. You'll get to see this whole place. We even did a tour of their big, huge cabin that you can rent. And this is called Sleepy Hollow. This is freaking awesome. Look at how horrifying this looks. This is terrifying. Yeah, that is so cool. They did a great job, I'll tell you what. Forgot the owner's name, but he's a young dude. Very young. Super cool dude. Huh, babe? She, she wanted a divorce. So she, <laughs> I don't blame her. <laughs> wow, this is great. Yeah, she punched his face in. He's <laughs> he's really having problems right now. Poor guy. They did a great job, huh, guys? What do you guys think? This is a darn darn good one. Huh? There actually really was a bride. Oh, oh okay. Hopefully no one stole her. I'm gonna go down to the street level and take a look up at it. This is a one this is a wonderful one for sure. I don't know if I can get the whole thing in right here because I'll fall into the street, but that's okay. It's great. Good job, Sessions Retreat. Good job. 
All right, baby, on to the next one. Once again, guys, on the lodging playlist, you can see this whole resort. I hope you check it out. They're nice people, very affordable rooms. Here at Big Bear Vacations now, right here on Thrush Road, right across from Carl's Sr. And this one is called, if it wasn't so windy, I could read this, Haystack Jack and Strawtastic Sally. Very good, this is a very good one. These are the companies you want to contact when you want to find a place to stay up here, Big Bear Vacations. Wow, they did a great job. They did a great job, huh? Careful, babe. Careful, careful. What do you think, babe? Very good. Very darn good. And they got another big bear, a terrifying, terrifying bear. Yep. I noticed that tall guy. That's how I feel in the morning. All right, well, great guys. Good job, Big Bear Vacations. And as I said, you guys, when you're trying to find a place up here, if you go to Big Bear Vacations, it'll kind of narrow things down for you. They have a, a whole lot of stuff for you guys to rent and uh, just to not stress. So Big Bear Vacations, go check them out. All right, babe, on to the next one. Bye, Jack and Sally. We are at Goldsmith Sports. They do a lot of ski and snowboard rentals. Okay, let's see here. This is called Indo. Rolling down the street, the Indo. Sipping on, lay back. With my mind on my money. Yeah, he definitely Indoed. He, he Indoed for sure. Man, these loud trucks are so annoying. But yeah, vote for Indo. The visitor center, of course. <laughs> he did an endo, babe. What do you guys think? They have a sale the whole store wide. But yeah, he, he really ate it, this poor guy. This is a cool one too. I really like this one. All right, let's do one more little walk around. Check this guy out again from over here. He's got nice boots on, though. Can't take that away from him. He can't ride a bike worth a heck, but... It's a poor guy. Look at that, it's a poor guy. All right, good job, Goldsmiths. Good job, Goldsmiths. All right, guys, on to the next this one. This is a resident, Mark Dobis, and the name of this situation here is Roxy. So let's find Roxy. Yeah, man. I... <laughs> you must be Mark. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good. Do I know you? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah. Where'd you get that list? Is there a list of the, of the yeah. at, at the uh, the yes, correct, okay. correct. And there's a ballot in there too. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. All right. Wow. Let's see here. So you said you have a bunch of lights at nighttime here, huh? Well, I'm gonna put some lights on the reindeer. Okay. That is cool, man. I mean that. That is so cool. That's that's like that's like Ghost Rider on a wooden deer. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Well, well, Mark, thanks, man. Um, yeah, I'm I'm I am gonna try to come back at like night, but this has been a mission. This has been a mission, brother. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, I'll I'll. I'll <laughs> 
I'll do my best, man. Thank you, Mark. We have two people here, Kristen Cadena and Daniel Cadena. And uh, which which one is yours, Daniel? This is a scarecrow. Okay, so this one would be Kristen's right here. This setup up here. Can I go in or no? Okay, thanks, man. I thank you, my brother. Very very festive, man. This is awesome. This is awesome. You guys, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. And this is also why I'm not giving addresses, guys, because these are homeowners who have put the time and the effort into doing something beautiful like this. And, uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. That is scary. Holy moly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, and then Daniel's is, 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 is going to be this stuff over here. Look at that. Yeah, dude. Sadly, this is the only time I can get away, man. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Look at that. You guys really went all out. This is fantastic. That is just creepy right there. That is creepy. I don't know why I'm like getting that pet cemetery feeling. I just watched the new one. It's really, really good. I mean, great job. Great job to these guys. Great job to these guys. As I said, this is Kristen and Daniel. I'm gonna do one more little close up view over here. And then we're gonna make like Tom and Cruise. Ooh, look at this bucket of eyes. Look at those eyeballs. What's going on here? What on earth is going on here? And you are too happy, Mr. Mr. Pumpkin Face. I mean, look at this. They did a really great job here. It's okay, it's okay puppy. All right. Yeah, brother, if I had time at nighttime i would i would definitely do it this is the only time i could because yeah. there's like 30 different places i have to drive to yeah you know what let me capture it with my phone that would facebook. Oh, okay what's your guys's facebook mine is uh, danny cadena danny cadena yeah. and let me spell that out for them c-a-d-e-n-a -E so you guys can see this at at nighttime, but he's gonna try to pull up a pic on his phone so I can capture it just so you guys can. Oh, dude. Hang on, let me get that, that glare out of there. That looks amazing, brother. Great job, Danny. Dude, this well, beautiful, at dusk, it's not nighttime. No, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's terrifying, bro. Yeah. Once we uh, put on the uh, purple light on the graveyard, it looks pretty cool. Oh, man. I'm telling you, I wish I had more time, bro. All right, guys. Well, we just hit up Kristen and Daniel, and we're on to the next one. Peace out, guys. Guys, this is the residence of Tim Kearney, and this is called Happy Fall from Hawk Drive. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, I, just, I just, I love people like this. I really do people who like to have fun and enjoy life. My wife did a nice little Halloween setup at our house as well. But because it's my house, I try to keep it a little bit private. Even though I would welcome each and every single one of you into my place anytime. Look at a little Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy scarecrows. Those are cute as heck. Let me zoom in on those guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Just adorable. And then look. The bear crow. This is a bear crow. Thank you, firefighters. Amen to that. Thank you, firefighters, big time. Very cool setup. They've got some some graves right here. Oh, this is so cool. Look at those scary ghosts. And again, guys, I'm sure some of these will look really cool at nighttime. But unfortunately... This is when I had the time to do all this and you guys will actually get to really see the decorations as they are. 
But yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Tim, great job, man. Keep up the great work. And keep on enjoying life, my brother. Look at all the bats on the wall right there. It's so cool. All right. Off to the next one. All right, you guys. This is our next stop. This is Gidget Martinez. And her creation is Moon Doggy in Moon Ridge. So let's go see. Let's see. I thought. Oh, here we go. That's a big house. That's beautiful. Look at this. Very cool. Very, very cool. Bro. What is up, you guys? What's up, Mitch? How you doing, brother? And that is Moondoggy. That is so cool. He's getting a little CPR because he really had... Look, he's on his stretcher. Poor guy. That's why you shouldn't be snowboarding when you're a scarecrow because you don't have any muscles. You're going to snap that right off. Or I guess he was surfing this guy. Bro. Bro, you're crazy. That is cool. And then they got all these very nice decorations up here as well. Very festive, very beautiful. I like this one a lot. I'm from Newport Beach, so this uh, surfboard's bringing back a lot of my home feelings, my nostalgia. Yeah, this is great, though. Thanks for, uh, Mitch, thanks for doing the CPR on Mr. Scarecrow. You're a good man. That's a nice mustache, too, bro. You're rocking that stash pretty good. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. Well, that is very cool. All right. Wish you guys luck. Hope they have a chance to win. But I'm telling you, what a beautiful home. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to show too much of it because uh, but it, like, wraps all the way around this block right here. This is crazy. Someday, someday, you work hard enough, you put in all the effort, take the proper calculated sacrifices and risks, and we don't have to live paycheck to paycheck. And I'm still working on that right now, but it'll come. I'm never gonna give up. And it's all about the journey to that success. All right, on to the next one, folks. This one is cr the created by Clean Sheets, and this is called Moonridge Scarecrow. This is another resident. Very cool. I was looking at those two pumpkins down there and I'm like, what are those supposed to be? But yeah, he's, <laughs> that's cool. So he's leaning forward, looking backwards at us. That is so cool. I like it. I like the Moonridge Scarecrow. It's so cool how these are all over this area, you guys. Very cool. Very cool. All right, well, best of luck to you, Moonridge Scarecrow. Hope to see you soon. Well, that's really cool. All right, guys, we are off to the last spot. It might not seem like it from the video, but this has been hours, hours and hours. And in between, I keep getting calls for work, so I have to go back to work for a few minutes. So you guys are working. I thought I'd come over and do what my wife did. We're not in the competition, but she just wanted the place to be a little bit cute. So that's what we got going on here. That's what we got going on there. Very nice. Good job, babe. She did a cute job. So now we're going to the final one, guys. I thought I'd stop since this was on the way to the last one. This is my house. Love you guys. This is the last one. This is the Big Bear Discovery Center. Woohoo! We made it. We did it. I can't believe we went to every single one of these things. But it's good to show support to the locals.
All right, this is Smoky Stein. It's a Frankenstein, Frankenstein one. Very cool. I like this one a lot. Good job, guys. You know, people put a lot of effort into this and it's, it's really, really neat to see. It's really neat to see. Let's, let's get a close up. His eyes look like they're following you, doesn't it? Very cool. All right, guys. Maybe if you guys want to tell me which ones you guys like the most, because I'll vote in a couple days, give you guys a chance to tell me what you think. But yeah, these are all wonderful. Good job. All right, well, that's it. Later, Smokey. Later, Smokey. Very cool. This is the Discovery Center. We need to do a video here as well eventually. But yeah, thanks for coming along, guys. That was a lot of the day <laughs> to get this done. But again, it was worth it. All the people who uh, entered into the competition, congratulations. You guys all did a wonderful job. Um, there are no losers here. So whomever wins the actual you know, competition, congratulations. But once again, there are no losers here. You all did a wonderful job and uh, you represent the town well. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, what a beautiful place. What a beautiful place. Happy early Halloween, guys.